well, hello, <laughs> hello there, YouTube, and welcome to March 20th of uh, 2022. Today is Sunday, and it is also the first day of spring. And how else would the first day of spring start in the Pacific Northwest, but it pouring down rain all that gum day? How dark it looks out here. I'll come out here because Mama was, Kai Kai had her. Head nope, sticking head sticking out. She's going, I want some. I need my daily snack. What do you think of that old Kylie, huh? Think of that. That's some good grub right there. <laughs> what a goof. Well, welcome to the day. Welcome to spring. But the nice thing is, the nice weather will be coming. Although... Spring can be quite wet sometimes. It can almost last till summer solstice. It has in the past. Oh, yeah. That would not be good, but no. we're not thinking that way. No, we have hope. Yep. <laughs> Blind hope, maybe, but we have hope. Yes. Man, after I was talking to you guys, I don't know why I'm worried about it. This iPhone 13 Pro Max is waterproof. Well, for the most part, IP68 or whatever they call it. And rain's not going to hurt it. Anyway, I try to, you know, wear my hang around the house crap here. And I try to stuff the thing in my front pocket and the coat got in the way and I lost control of it. And it went camera side down right in the gravel. So it put some little nicks in my leather Apple phone case. But uh, dirt all over the lenses, but got in here and even looked at it with a jeweler's loop, whatever that something crystal whatever it is apple used on there they survived a rock drop so and the screen's got a screen protector so if it fell screen first odds were it'd make it made a loud whack it just i mean camera side down um, i had to bring this thing out got that for kelly you remember for doing her uh um what is that laminate thing that she does? She's in there. That's what she's been doing almost all day. She has so much fun with that. I have to get it all gathered up. She's like most people. She doesn't want me to show it. That looks like crap. I don't want you to show that. <laughs> they ain't going to care. But when they say, you know, the temperature 2370 Fahrenheit or 1300 Celsius, um, I think about the lowest setting is somewhere around a thousand, I would guess. Fahrenheit. Cause she can't get near her stuff because it makes her the molds that she puts that in. Um, they're rubber because they, you pop them out. Anyway, it makes them things smoke. It's to, she needs a runner across there to take the air bubbles out of the, um, epoxy, epoxy resin. That's what it's called. And uh, she's in there doing all these color things, watching videos and stuff. And uh, she was watching a video, and she goes, here, look at this. I'll show you what he, what she's doing. So I'm uh, putting these three-in-one silicone drops or alcohol to make these little, uh, make it react to this color pigment stuff you put in there. Anyway, I'm like, oh, what she got there? Because you get, and as soon as you hit that resin, it just instantly makes the bubbles disappear. Well, she has some old beat up one. It looks like my uh, snap on one from work. And it's got a much smaller nozzle. I mean, that thing is brutally hot. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to be for whatever use out here in the shop. I'll look at getting her another one. I did show you that I found my vice things I've had since I think somewhere around 84 somewhere near i actually got it to well to work on handguns i i had some velour it was a whole deal but anyway i got it for something else but remember when i got this drill press i thought you know because you can bolt these things down and you know you got a nice little vice to hold something in speaking of tools you want to talk about like what's in my toolbox kind of a thing how about that all this, and I kind of made it a point to make everything budget. So you'll see lots of uh, Harbor Freight, tractor supply. There's some older Craftsman stuff that I've had for a while. All this stuff, almost all of it's Harbor Freight or tractor supply. You'll see some, 
like Stanley and stuff like that. You get it at Walmarts and uh, uh, Home Depot is the other place I'll snag tools from because just we're there. Let's see. So what's in my box? It's a rainy day. Let's go through this. <laughs> like most of my tools, I, I know where they're at. So I don't worry about organizing them. I just shove them wherever. This is almost exclusively Craftsman sockets. Because I was buying all those when the Sears store was still open there by Yardbirds there in Chehalis. But you'll see a ton of um, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh stuff. These ratchets, literally. If, the, if I can find a small one, smaller than this, I'll replace the Snap-on one at work. Because the Snap-on guys can't seem to fix it. Um, I don't remember who I got these things from. I think they're Husky, but it's a uh, metric and SAE balls. You know, you've seen all the assortment of ratchets there. I thought I had a set of SAE. I love quarter inch stuff. I'm a huge quarter inch guy. Um, but anyway, I need, I keep needing SAE stuff and I thought I got a set of those, but apparently I didn't. I got the shorts and I got the, uh, three eighths large. There's the, uh, other pry bar thing oh and if you're ever at harbor freight tools you do anything with bmws or anything that uses torques go in there it's like 13 bucks buy that quarter inch torque set it's got all the main ones you're going to use on a motorcycle really good there's tire, tire gauges and stuff uh junk good lord look at all the different look how many bags of those gremlin bells are in here Holy moly, I buy way too many motorcycles. Some, these are like different seat attachments for the Mustangs. Some old, I don't even know what ratchet brand that is, but a bunch of extensions in there. Kind of my measuring drawer, veneer calipers. I freak the kids out at work, they don't know how to use those things. All I know is a metric, and I, I can be within a half a thousandth of the metric thing using one of those. How do you do that? <laughs> Feeler gauges and stuff, mirrors. It's like I refer to as my cutting drawer, scissors, box knives, pocket knives. That's an old Craftsman one that has a really nice wooden handle on it. I don't ever use it, it just sits out here. Brake bleeder, a couple of little flashlights. There's another stream light sitting down in there. Scissors and stuff. Um, my, my big metric set. Everything else is SAE. Mm. Oh, that's some cheapo Chinese-made ones. You could actually get these are. It's from. It's a Craftsman kit, and um, those in 1984 when my tools got stole out of my race van, um, part of the toolkit my dad uh, bought me, which I still have them tools at work. Um, there was a metric and SAE kit. In that bag, just like that. I think these are Huskies. Punches. That's those, uh, the drift punches. Gotta have those. I've got more down another drawer. Um, pry bars. Drop forge in Taiwan, though. I think by the end, Sears, none of the Sears stuff, I think, was made in the U.S. anymore. Which is very, very sad. I was talking to somebody. Sears stores were literally a part of life. Always went there with my dad, and then, you know, when I moved out, I'm always in there as well. Some Harbor Freight. You'll see a lot of these Harbor Freight things. They're super cheap. You buy them. There's a SAE set of that little Craftsman bag. Or maybe it didn't say Craftsman, and I thought it did. Pretty sure it did. And probably Craftsman wasn't even proud enough to put their name on that. There's my feeler gauge kit I took from work to do the Royal Enfield valve adjustments. Uh, just like work, my plier drawer is a total disaster. I've got real Knipex pliers. My other ones are at work. I've got these um, Harbor Freight ones. These will these will close all the way down with your hand in it. I don't know how a lawsuit hasn't come from that. You know all the class action. If you have these symptoms, call this whatever. You may get reimbursed or whatever. <laughs> That's Knipix too. Um, Knipix. Gotta love them. 
anyway, those things, they will hurt you. They work really well for what I've used them for. Oh, you know the um, push pin pliers that I got the uh, gear wrench ones with the orange stripe instead of red? The, the main ones that came missing, this is the match to it that has that 80 degree one. So it, it didn't have a partner anymore, so I brought that home because now I have another set that I showed you guys. And yes, I do have one of those Leslie or whatever they are. I pulled the spring out. And you'll see by the cut in that handle why when you school force that thing close, the spring gets in the way. It's not a nice setup like this. Nice and smooth. Very well built. Anyway, our drawer, big mess. Screwdriver drawer, assortment of Stanley stuff. I think I got that from, um, I think I got that at Walmart. Some Craftsman Torque screwdrivers. You'll see Craftsman stuff all through here. Some Husky stuff. Another, I guess you can call this a measuring drawer. There's a budget digital one. That's a really super nice digital one. That's a really nice multimeter. It says blue point on it, but it looks like it's from Snap-on. This is actually an RC car uh, temperature gauge. This is one of those pistol grip temperature gauge. Like I have at work. I don't know why I'm keeping it. Oh, it must. I think it's got the black, uh, plastic carrier for those veneer calipers. Um, that's a amp clamp, battery tester, voltage tester for AC, jeweler's loop. You always need those. In fact, I just used that. A little headlight. There's actually a couple of them. One, there's another one sitting there. Streamlight stuff. You guys have seen these before. I got the same set at work. Metric and SAA Allen sockets and uh, um, torque sockets. Really cool little bit set, which by the way, even at home, if you guys don't have an easy red, you have to have one. Them things will get you in places like no other. And one side is a little quarter bit thing, which all that stuff comes in handy for. These are little mounts for different promotions. There was two of those things that were on my... Uh, Road King, the Road King, the O2 Road King. The clocks that were on the Road King are sitting right there now. Or is that the black ones? I think that might have been the black ones. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the assortment of ProMotion gauges and little dielectric greasy stuff and just miscellaneous junk, different drill bits and stuff in there. And T-Handle Allens. Who all doesn't have a set of these Craftsman metric and SAE little Allen keys on the on the deal? Harbor Freight Extraction Kit. I've used it. That thing, there's no way that pulled the bolts out of that um, Royal Enfield GT650, but it did. Snap-on short, Cornwell long. There's the cheap uh, Harbor Freight little pin pullers there. Some cobalt drill bits. And assortment of hammers and old analog clicker and literally mechanical torque wrenches. There's a small one, an inch pound one sitting around here somewhere. Those my dad got me as well. Just assortment of junk. Some chemicals down there at the bottom. Um, T-handles. I'm a huge fan of T-handles. Uh, some Motion Pro metric T-handles. The metric swivel-headed uh, ratchet wrenches, you know, the box-in ratchet and open-in on the other side. This is the SAE ones. There's the old Himalayan bags, more Himalayan bags. The Altel meter, quarter-inch electric ratchet, tire gauge, a little sander, battery assortment. Got that high-powered or three-eighths uh, impact for a smoking deal from the Cornwall dude. Saw an assortment of uh, um, Dremel stuff. A big old half-inch electric drill for the real high horsepower stuff. Snap-on pneumatic. A uh, Brad, Brad nailer, Bradley nailer, whatever it's called. 
assortment of drills and stuff. Um, really nice uh, uh, snap ring plier kit. I showed you those things the other day. Some impact sockets, half inch, my Knipex pliers. Um, really nice set of uh, torque T-handles. Those little tiny bits that, um, that are quarter inch, of course. Love these things. Little tiny stubby guys. With an easy wrench, I'll get you in places. But there's SAE and metric. There's Torx. There's a impact screwdriver, a lead kit, you know, for testing. Uh, the little self-shrinking connectors. I showed you that. This is a tap and die set. There's a um, tap sockets, brass drifts, some. Got a good deal on this, so I got them too. Really nice extension set. Um, this is a brake bleeder kit. That is a wired, um, the pistol grip soldering iron. This is that electric soldering iron I showed you guys not too long ago. That's an old um, wired um, pencil soldering iron. Anyway, there you are. My budget tool kit at home. <laughs> it gets, gets me through. I do all the stuff I do at home with that. And uh, the craziest thing is that little that little wall up there, I use that more than you can possibly imagine. Hardly ever even walk to that box unless I need something special. Anyway, that's enough rattling for one day. I'm going to roll out. Let's grab the little mom and say goodbye. Well, hello there, YouTube. God almighty. At least it's not raining out. Well, it might be misting. I hear the gutters clicking. <laughs> yeah, what a uh, first day of spring here in the... I think it does that almost every... I think one of those years it was super nice. We went for a ride or something. I don't remember. But uh, not this year. Nope. It's mm -hmm. kind of wet. Nice days are coming, though. Mm-hmm. Fingers crossed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what a chill day. A rain day makes for a very chill day. That mm -hmm. was very, very relaxing. It was. I did lots of researches on different things and... Mom was doing a bunch of her own research, YouTube and things, and yeah. getting up and working on something, and that's cool stuff. Yeah. But we got dinner just about, it's ready to be served, so we're going to make this super short and sweet. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have an amazing Monday or Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. Back to the old grind tomorrow. Yep, back at her. Yeah, I think there's some nice days coming during the week, too. Of course. Of course. While we're at work. Mm -hmm. Day's getting longer. We'll be yeah. able to slip out and slip maybe... Slip out when we get home. Yeah, go for a quick little ride when we get home. Yeah. It can happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>